Well, look what we found. We were digging through the thrift store and uh, we pulled this thing out. Like, uh, well, magic. But what is this thing? And can I still use it? Let's see if this third eye can enlighten our pictures. So we got some time away from the kid for a little while. And so me and the wife decided to go thrift store shopping. And uh, we ended up down in Pensacola. We stumbled across Antiques on the Boulevard, which is a collection of about 13 stores, a uh, collection of thrift stores, antique shops, a military surplus store. There was one doll place and a, a couple other really, uh, really good places to get a good deal on some things. We stepped into Blue Moon, which touts itself as the oldest antique mall in all of Pensacola. And that's where we found this baby. My wife is fantastic at thrift stores. She's like a crow. She's constantly looking for anything shiny. And when I let her loose on Blue Moon, she dove in and actually found this behind a bookcase. It wasn't even in the camera section. And she pulled this out and said, hey, look what I found. I remember the gleam in her eye when she looked at me and said, I found magic. And sure as shit, she did. After looking it over some, we were able to find out it's from about at least 1996 and the film is quite expired. Isn't that how old your brother is? So, it had a price tag on it. It was about $5. And knowing the Nashikas go for 100 plus sometimes, I figured it might be a deal. It comes fully loaded with a roll of 400 speed film. The aperture and shutter are a complete mystery, but that's part of the magic. After some internet sleuthing, we were able to find out it might be an F8 and a shutter speed of about a 60th of a second. But that's all hearsay. What's not hearsay is this hot shoe. You ever see a disposable camera with a hot shoe? With a fixed aperture and shutter speed, if you wanna use anything other than the 400 speed film that it's made for, you're going to have to blast that flash. I decided to give it my best flash. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be arrested. Ansel Adams is taking me to photography jail. 
It came already loaded with a 24 exposure size roll. On that, you can get 16 pictures on this camera. We shot what was in there and we sure did get some things. So what the camera does is it takes three simultaneous pictures at the same time. And for some reason, the one in the middle seems more overexposed than the others. I'm not sure if this is design or if this is just its age showing. Today, we can use the power of the computer to use these three images to make what the kids are calling a wiggle grin. Sorry, I won't be using that term anymore as it makes me uncomfortable. Since it is a magic camera, we decided to put the most magical film stock we could find into it. And that turned out to be, of course, Lomography Purple. So the negatives have the images stacked in groups of three. You get 16 exposures on a roll that's set for 24 and then you get 24 sets of three for a 36 exposure roll. The aspect ratio is up and down. It's convenient for phones and Instagram. Good news, nothing special about the roll. It's just a regular roll of 35 millimeter film. It took some convincing, but I was able to get it opened up without breaking it, which was no small feat, because it is plastic from the 90s. So inside, you can see how the lenses project onto the film. This little gear right here, this cocks the shutter as the film rolls over it. The roll goes into the camera completely unrolled, and then you roll it into the canister as you take the picture. This can typically be done in a dark bag, um, but I didn't think that was magical enough, so I decided that I would go to my magic room to fill the film. Now it's time to put the magic in the bag. The only thing I have to do now Get this film on the spool. I can do this. Don't touch the film, Andrew. Don't touch the film. By God, I think I've done it. For people who are already developing their own film, they're already pretty used to this kind of stuff. So all you have to do is get it spooled onto the spool and get it into the camera inside the bag uh, without being able to say your hands in complete darkness. It's pretty easy, honestly. It can get sweaty in the bag sometimes. Try not to get it on the film.
So on the box, it says, after you're done taking the pictures, put the camera in the envelope and mail it back to them. And they will create a 3D picture and mail it to you. After much confusion as to how they would make such an artifact, and then n much less send it through the mail, I finally figured out what they were talking about. It's lenticular pictures. Oh, you, you don't know what a lenticular picture is? Don't worry. Pusheen will tell you. See? Remember now? It's just like your childhood. Those are those bumpy pictures that that change when you tilt them. Uh, you used to have them on the front of your Lisa Frank uh, Trapper Keeper. You, you know you used to have one. Look, if you're ready to throw some money down, Get that Nimslo or the Nishika as they're going to have more features and are much easier to load. But if you're looking to just make some nonsense, it's hard to go bad with five bucks on this guy. this price point for a gimmick could make some neat gifs so next time you're bored go out thrifting you could find some magic or just a minor illusion. <laughs>